This news story was produced by Kojiko North Bay News. To watch the full newscast, tune into channels 12 or 700 live at 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. Welcome to this Wednesday edition of Kojiko North Bay News, truly local television. My name is Clark Heipel. Stemming from two separate incidents of racism last week, two North Bay residents have come forward lending their voice to stop racism in its tracks. We hear two personal stories from two members of the media who were subjected to racial slurs. Two local reporters, two separate occurrences of being subjected to a racial slur. We begin with last Tuesday around 11 a.m. North Bay Nugget reporter Jennifer Hamilton McCharles walking on McIntyre Street West towards Castles when she senses a vehicle slowing down while approaching. And then this happens. And a gentleman uh, sticks his head out and yells, um, you effing Indian. She managed to snap this picture. I ran as fast as I could uh, to try to get a picture of the car. I didn't know at this point if there was anything that could be done, but I didn't just want this to just go away. The next egregious display of racism came on Thursday late morning at the intersection of 3rd and Fisher. The racist remark directed at my fellow co-worker, Matthew Sukram. Coming to the stop sign, can't see, inched a little closer um, up to the, the curb so I could see. And Fisher's a busy street, so I stopped there for a good two minutes and, I, and I'm looking both ways, obviously. And I'm looking to my right and I see a guy approaching the intersection and he's, he's staring at me, kind of shaking his head, doing this. And, but he's got headphones on, so I'm thinking, oh, maybe he's listening to music. I mean, I don't know what, he, what he's doing. As he gets into the intersection of the crosswalk here, um, clearly he's upset that I'm over the stop sign and I'm creeping up. And he looks me down and uh, says, learn to drive, and uses a derogatory term from someone who is from Pakistan. And I said, what? As I turned out on left onto Fisher, I kind of looked back at him and he gave me the bird. Sukram suggests a much better way the male pedestrian could have handled the situation. If you're upset about that, something that's that small, you could just say, hey, do you mind backing up? I would say, sure. I, I, yes, I will clearly reverse so that you can get by. And even though I didn't think I was blocking the, the crosswalk that much, I would say, sure, not a problem. If you approach people and are just nice about things, people re will respond in kindness. And I think that's the way we have to go about that. And the other thing is, I'm not even Middle Eastern. So I don't even, I personally didn't take offense to the slur. Um, you know, my, my dad's side of this family is from uh, South America. My mom's side of the family is from Europe, so I have that mix that when people see me, they don't even know what my heritage is. And regardless of that, you know, you sh it doesn't matter what, where someone's from or what the background is, um, don't go there. Back to Hamilton McCharles, run in with racism. She did what she knows best. She used the power of the pen to share her message. What are you hoping by spreading this story and telling people what you experienced personally? What are you hoping happens? I'm hoping people will not no longer be silent. And I'm going to make that a conscious effort for myself and in my family. Um, if I hear people say derogatory remarks, if I see people roll their eyes or make size at a grocery store, a lineup in a department store when someone's using their status card, that's not okay. Um, and I think if we speak up and talk about it more, that I'm hoping behavior will change. Uh, maybe not, you know, maybe you will always get maybe those one or two people, but I'm hoping that something more can be done that this is no longer tolerant. This is not acceptable. And thank you to Jennifer and Matthew for sharing their very personal story of a very sad occurrence. If you are interested in watching Coach Go North Bay News, you can become a subscriber by calling 1-800-267-9000.